Hey, glad you're here. Check this out. This is my competition shotgun. And everyone freaks out because the barrel ends before the mag tube ends. And they're like, you're shooting a shotgun. The shot's going to spread out, right? Aren't you going to hit the end of that? Well, it doesn't. So it's fine. Didn't get hit with one BB. Now, we know that shotguns spread when they come out of the barrel. Everybody knows that. But video games and movies have us believing that it spreads much quicker than it actually does in real life. Let us test this. All right, I'm gonna put the barrel of the shotgun about five feet away from that paper target. This hole is from the wad. The wad is a cup that holds all of the lead BBs in it. So this hole wouldn't really do a whole lot of damage to a target. This is all the lead BBs. At five feet, they have only spread to be about the size of a half dollar. They didn't spread very much, so that's why when you shoot out of this thing, they're not gonna hit the end of that barrel. But there's something I wasn't telling you guys. I have chokes. There's a choke in the end of that shotgun barrel. That silver thing in the end of the barrel is a shotgun choke. It's a full choke, which means it is choking down the diameter of that barrel. It's constricting it, making all those BBs come through a smaller hole. So what happens if we put a less restrictive choke in there? On the right is the full choke. On the left is a cylinder bore choke. So this one is opened way up compared to the other one. Exact same ammo, exact same length of barrel. All we switched was the choke. So this one should open up a lot more. And indeed it did. First shot, second shot. You can see our spread is, uh, it's probably about twice the diameter of the first one. So even spreading it the most, we can spread it out of the barrel. It still didn't change it a lot. And at five feet, only spread this much. Still not gonna hit that thing at just a few inches. But what I wanna see is, how much do these chokes spread at longer distances? Which is why I have four more targets and I will be shooting straight through. So we'll be able to tell what it looks like at each distance. Got them all papered up. I have four targets, one at 10, 20, 30, and 40 feet. So I'm gonna step back here at the zero foot line and I put the full choke back in this. So this is the most constricted I can make this shot pattern. There's the wad, that's 10 feet. There's the wad, this is 20 feet. So now you can see that they're starting to spread out a little bit, but most of them are still in the middle. 30 feet, we have from there to there, almost a foot spread, but concentrated in the middle still. And 40 feet, about the same. They are, uh, yeah, about a foot there. This is very interesting because in a video game, They'll have you believing that you don't take shots at 40 feet with a shotgun. It'll spread too much, you won't do any damage to the bad guy. But in real life, was I shooting at a bad guy at 40 feet, I would have hit him with every pellet. They would have all been in his body. But we have this thing restricted all the way. Let's go ahead and put the choke that opens it up. Got the cylinder bore choke in here, which is the most opened up choke. I'm gonna use the same paper. I think I'll be able to tell the difference. At 10 feet, it's already looking a lot different than that one. We probably have about a four inch spread there. 20 feet, big difference. So here's our first, and here is the second one. This one's a big difference as well. I think we had about a, about a foot gap on that one. This one now, we even have a BB up here. It's pretty much covered the entire paper, and this one we have hits all the way from the top all the way off the paper. So on a cylinder bore shotgun at that distance, that's really spread. Not every BB will be on the bad guy at 40 feet. Stop it, I know what you're about to say. You're gonna say that in these video games that I'm talking about, they're not shooting long barrel shotguns. They're shooting combat shotguns that have shorter barrels and no chokes. That's a good point. You're smarter than you look and I like that about you. And I have a combat shotgun with a shorter barrel, and no choke. This is just cylinder bore, so it's gonna spread. We do have new paper. Let's see what this does. 10 feet. 20 feet. 30 feet, most of it's still on a man-sized target, 
but a few are trending outward and 40 feet most of them right here but some of them went off but the thing to note smoothbore shotgun with no choke so it's opening up and most of them still hit at 40 yards in wartime you'd be shooting like buckshot not birdshot so there's less pellets but they stay in the same pattern so a bunch of them still would have hit our target and killed our bad guy so even at 40 feet bad guy's down so that's pretty much it i just wanted to kind of stifle those claims that say that shotguns aren't good past about 10 feet obviously at 40 feet most of our shot is still on target and we would drop the bad guy really probably about to about 100 feet you're still going to hit the bad guy with some of those buckshot pellets now i have one more thing that i want to show you and it has no scientific value but i think it's pretty neat also we lost the target when i was setting it up i broke the legs off of it and it fell over it's going down for i have another combat shotgun this is a remington 870 but what's unique about this one is it has a slug barrel on it i hope you guys can see it's rifled so you might be able to see a spiral going down that barrel normal shotguns are smooth bored they're just like a pipe this one is rifled because it's usually has one big slug coming through it but sometimes i like to shoot pellets through it and it's interesting what happens when you shoot pellets through a rifled barrel and i know i've done this in a video before but it just is so cool. I wanted to show you guys one more time. So that was firing the exact same shotgun shell that we've been firing all day out of a shotgun with exactly the same length barrel as the one previously. But look at the difference. This is our 10 foot target. Has probably about a 10 inch spread there. Pretty cool. Look at our 20 foot target. Off the target already. Look at our 30 foot target, he's dead. And then look how sparse this is. That shot is coming down the barrel and it's spinning because of the rifling. And so when it hits the end of the barrel, it's still spinning and it starts going off in different directions, spreading much, much more quickly. That's pretty neat. We've seen that shorter barrels spread the shot more. We've seen that the rifled barrels spread the shot a ton. You know, it'd be really cool is if we had like a really short rifled barrel. That'd be crazy. <laughs> we got one. The Judge, 410, very short barrel, and it's rifled. Can you guys see that? If you can't, you're just gonna have to take my word for it. And this, let me just say, this has no scientific value at all. I don't know why I keep saying that because nothing on this channel ever has scientific value. Um, I just wanna see what'll happen. And I'll show you, cause we have fresh paper up over here, but first I wanna thank our channel sponsor, Audible. Audible has audio books, a lot of them, and they read them to you. They read books to you. I read them in my truck. I read them in my truck when I'm going to work. You can read them at home or whatever. Um, currently I'm reading a book called Captive, my story as, actually my time as a prisoner of the Taliban by Jer Van Dyke. It's uh, this reporter, he was captured by the Taliban and spent 45 days as a prisoner of the Taliban. That's pretty crazy, right? Anyway, Audible is giving all of you guys the chance to have a 30-day free trial where you can have this book read to you or you can pick from any other title in their unmatched audio library, which is pretty cool. All you have to do is use the code, no, the URL, audible.com slash demo ranch, and it's yours. You can keep the book even if you don't continue with the trial or with the subscription, you can keep the book forever. And it goes to support what we do here. Okay, now, thank you for that. And uh, let's shoot a shell out of this thing. 410 shotgun shell. Uh-oh. That does not fit. Mm. The shell is bigger than the cylinder. but I just made them listen to an ad for this. I got you, bros. I cut the top off of it and filled it with mud, just the top. There's still all the BBs in there, but I filled the top of it with mud so the BBs don't roll out. And now it fits. Just barely, can you guys see that? 
All right, if my hand explodes, I'm going to regret this, but I'm doing it because I love you. Ow. Yep, that three inch Magnum shell's got quite a kick when you don't even have all your fingers on the gun. 10 foot target, quite a spread. That's probably from there down to there is about 14 inches. 20 foot target. We have some going off the paper. Nice. And check that out. Even our 40 foot target got hit with a decent amount of pellets there. That's cool. Thanks for hanging with me on the ranch today. I hope you learned something that, you know, shotguns, even at distance, are still pretty good weapons. They're shooting a lot of lead out. All right, here's the deal. Pocket knife. I'm gonna throw it through this one and try to hit the one behind it. If I do hit the one behind it, you guys have to like this video. Okay, deal, shake on it. Okay, here we go. <sighs> Dang it. All right, thumbs down this video. Love ya. Just kidding, don't thumbs down the video. It really hurts my feelings. That's a great idea. <laughs> what about the quad hog? Bobby? <laughs> I'm a doctor. Ish.